guys, we just came back from Marks and Spencer where we did quite a huge food haul and all of this is supposed to last us for about two weeks and I thought I would quickly run through with you guys what we bought. So let's start from here. We got a box of biscuits. This is quite interesting because there are so many different types of biscuits in one. This is the variety you get in one box and it's really good to have with cheese. So we always try to get this when we go to Marks and Spencer. And then of course to go with the cheese board, we got the blue Stilton cheese and the Somerset Brie. To be honest, I feel like you can get better cheeses at those standalone cheese stores instead of Marks and Spencer, but this is just very convenient, that's why we get it. And then here we have some bags of chips. This is the Turkey and Trimmings Hand Cook Crisps. My partner picked this up for himself. And then he also picked up for himself some sweet and smoky barbecue reduced fat chips. I don't know why he got the reduced fat version because I have tried this in Singapore before. Like multiple flavors from the reduced fat line and all of them were not that great. I think he probably forgot about that so he got a reduced fat version. But yeah, I don't recommend the Marks & Spencer reduced fat line of chips because they just don't taste as yummy. And then for myself, I got this sour cream and jalapeno combo mix. This is so good, you guys. I love, love, love it. And I also picked this up to try. This is the turkey fist combo mix. I think it's a Christmas special. So yeah, just wanted to try that. And then we also stocked up on rice. This is just the home brand of basmati whole grain rice. I try to get whole grain rice if possible, so it's a lot healthier. And then over here, we have a bunch of yogurts. This brand of yogurt from Marks & Spencer is really good. I highly recommend you to get it. It's the West Country Luxury Yogurt. And we just got four tubs of strawberries and cream, two tubs of Madagascar vanilla, a pear and blackberry one. This is roasted hazelnut and this is rhubarb and custard and all of them are really good. And then here we have the butter chicken. Previously, I was really hesitant to try this kind of ready-made foods from Marks & Spencer just because I wasn't sure if they were going to be good. But I had a go at this and I really like it. It's surprisingly delicious. The chicken is very soft and tender and the sauce is really yummy. It's not that spicy but it does say that it's only mildly spiced. So yeah, it's really good. Oh, and also it's so convenient to prepare. You just pop this in the microwave for a few minutes and then it's good to go. And then I also got baby corn. I haven't had this in a while here in London. So I picked this up. It's good for stir fry or just to throw into soups. Got three carrots. For the upcoming week, I'm thinking of making veggie broth just to switch things up a little bit because I made chicken broth this week. So I picked up some carrots for the broth. And I also got some frozen corn. This will also go into my veggie broth. And while we're on the topic of broth, I also got celery for my veggie broth. And here we have a bag of spinach. This is super convenient. You just have to wash it and then you can throw it into soups. And I got a red pepper. This is supposed to go with this mini breast fillet, which I'm gonna dice up. And then the both of it, I will stir fry with some Korean sweet barbecue sauce. And then I just top that over rice and it's pretty much a meal on its own. So that's that. Moving on, my partner also picked up two sticks. This is the British beef ribeye stick, two of it. And then this salmon fillets are a staple in our freezer. 
you can just pop this into the freezer before the expiry date and it can last you for three more months so it's super easy and convenient to have a pack of this in your freezer and then another staple a box of white mushrooms they are super cheap only one pound so i always pick it up and we are almost there to the end of the food haul i've got two box of raspberries here and blueberries what i'm gonna do is to freeze all of them and then just pop them into the blender with some milk here we pick up the organic almond and oat milk and then you you have a very tasty smoothie pro tip for you guys when you're picking up your milk make sure that the ingredients are clean it says here that there are no gums no thickeners no preservatives and no added oils and colors this is what we want these are just the four ingredients filtered water, whole grain organic oats, organic almonds and sea salt. So this is really clean. That's why we get this. And then this is just a bottle of Indian tonic water. We always stock up on this because it's only 60 pence and we have this with our gin. And then the last two items is a bag of baby potatoes. I love having this at home just because you can cut them into half and then pop them in the air fryer. And this is tuna and sweet corn filling. This is so yummy, you guys. They also have a, I think it's reduced fat version, but don't get that. <laughs> I think I have a bit of PTSD with their reduced fat line in Marks and Spencer in general, but this is so good. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. I can see it in your eyes You've seen the moon and its darker side I can feel the gravity The forces pull between Hi guys, we're going to Chilton Firehouse for dinner tonight Chilton Firehouse used to be a former fire station back in the 1880s and now it has converted into a hotel and we're going to the restaurant inside the hotel for dinner and it's serving American cuisine so I'll take you guys along with me Done with our dinner at Chilton Firehouse. Everything was so phenomenal, you guys. All the ingredients were very top quality and the service was excellent as well. Chilton Firehouse is definitely a place that I would recommend people to bring their friends to for special occasions like birthdays, Thanksgiving with family, as well as even like a first date spot just because the vibes of the place it was really cozy, it was very nice and yeah, I really really like the place and now we are gonna head home Wow, my hair is in a mess, don't mind me I am cooking my lunch for myself My partner is working in the office today so I will only need to cook a very simple quick lunch for myself I'm gonna make pasta with meatballs Right now I'm boiling some water to cook the pasta in. I'm using this fusilli, it's from the Bella Ricetta brand. <laughs> Sorry if I'm butchering the name. I don't even remember where I got this from to be honest, but I usually like to get fusilli for my pasta at home. I think it's just a lot easier to cook. But whenever I'm out, I do prefer to have spaghetti 
And then for meatballs, <laughs> I'm so Asian. I'm using this Asian brand of chicken balls. And I've gone through a few packets of this and it's really good. I like to pan fry it before I chuck it into the pasta so it's a lot tastier. So that's what I'm gonna do. I can see it in your eyes. You've seen the moon and its darker side. I can feel the gravity. Quick tip for you guys, I'm sure you already know, but just in case you don't, if you're using frozen meatballs like me and you haven't defrosted them before you throw them into the pan, then you will need to put it on pretty low heat just for a few minutes to warm up the meatballs because if you immediately throw them straight into high heat, it will cause the outside of the meatballs to burn very quickly and we don't want super charred meatballs. I will be The pasta and meatballs are done and for the final step of this dish, I'm gonna throw on some fried onions on the pasta. It goes so well with it. This is just a tub that I got from Ikea. And yeah, it's 100 grams and it has lasted me for about 3 months already and we still have a little bit left. These are basically what we would call shallots I guess and it's really tasty. So yeah, gonna throw this on and time to eat! Hi guys, we are heading to dinner now. We are going to an Italian restaurant tonight. It's called Daphne's and I've seen a lot of pictures of it on Instagram and it looks so beautiful so I'm very excited to go and see what the place is about. We are actually kind of early. We are an hour early to be exact because we went to drop off all my ASOS returns. So hopefully Daphne's can sit us I can see it in your eyes You've seen the moon and its darker side I can feel the gravity The forces pull between you and me Done with dinner at Daphne restaurant and I wanted to hop on here to give you a quick history of the restaurant It was founded in 1964 by a very famous former theatre agent called Daphne Ray and it serves Italian cuisine and the nice thing about the restaurant is that for their menu even for the regular mains they do have two sizes for you to choose from a smaller portion and a larger portion and if you're not someone who has a really large stomach then the small portion is actually more than sufficient so you can just order a couple of smaller options and try out different dishes Okay, let's head home! I can see it in your eyes You've seen the moon and its darker side I can feel the gravity The forces pull between you and me Yes, it's true, I'm falling hard for you But I won't rush this love I can wait even if it's hard to take One moment is enough I will be standing here right by your side I will be standing here to the end of time
we have come out of the Barbican. We were there to check out their free exhibits as well as an exhibit by Noguchi, who is a Japanese American artist. I've actually been to one of his outdoor installations in LA and it was really nice, so I wanted to come here and check out his exhibit as well. This time it was an indoor one. And yeah, there were two stories, so quite a bunch of sculptures to see. And yes, again, if you guys are Art Fund members, then you get discounted tickets as well, so that's great. I can wait even if it's hard to say. One moment is enough. I will be standing here right by your side. I will be standing here to the end of time. Yeah.